here today at the Sarasota National Cemetery where they're having a funeral for a gentleman named Edward Pearson. Uh, Mr. Pearson's um, name appeared in an obituary a few days ago. And, uh, on the bottom of the obituary it said that he was going to uh, be buried here today and that he had no friends or immediate family. And it touched a chord with a lot of people. And so here we are at the funeral and there are literally thousands of people that have come see the parking lot is full it's it's probably 45 minutes before the funeral and people are still streaming in uh, it's a steady stream of spectators it's a steady stream of people here for the funeral of Mr. Pearson and while it's nice that Mr. Pearson's plight had touched a nerve of all these people and that there's this much outpouring of spirit in the community for Mr. Pearson it, depending on your set of beliefs um, we're not really even sure if Mr. Pearson knows that these people are here but what I'd like to point out is that if Mr. Pearson had received even 1% of the support that's here for him today while he was alive, his life may have been a lot different. There are thousands of people in the Tampa Bay area, elderly people, uh, veterans, who have left a, lived a life of solitude. So my point is, don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until the Mr. Pearsons of the world are being laid to rest. Go out and visit an elderly person. Knock on the door of the person that lives next door to you. Reach out to these people. Uh, I personally did that uh, about 10 years ago with an elderly woman in St. Pete. And we wound up adopting her as our uh, adopted grandmother for my then nine-year-old daughter. The relationship that we've had with her has been fantastic. Uh, it's been uh, mutually enjoyable for all of us. She considers me her son now. Uh, my daughter uh, has a grandmother, which she didn't have before, and the bottom line is it's enriched all of our lives. Uh, she was, the, the woman was a, a recluse, uh, never left her house, was extremely depressed and sad, uh, had nobody in her life, and now she's gotten out of that shell. Uh, she is uh, very active. She has lots of friends in the community now. She uh, started doing greyhound rescues, and, and the point is, is that sometimes that's all it takes is for people to just know that they're not alone. So let's take the outpouring of support that we have here today for Mr. Pearson and let's see if we can expand on that. Uh, go visit an elderly person, stop by uh, a nursing home, uh, go down and knock on the door of the neighbor and ask him if there's anything that you could possibly do for them. Because you never know I don't if it's going to enrich your lives more than it enrich theirs. So give it a shot. I'm James McLennis, candidate for Sheriff of Pinellas County. Thank you for listening.